Good morning, 601 and 602. It is so nice to be able to connect with you on Google Classroom. I know we are still not together face to face, but I am so proud of how responsive you've been, how positive you've been, and everything that you're doing to take care of yourselves and your families. This is a time like we have never experienced before. And one day people are going to look back on when um, coronavirus was present and they're going to write about it in history books. And I want you to know um, that we're just so proud of the work you're doing for our school community and for Baltimore by trying your best to stay home and to take care of um, family members who might have to go to work. Um, and just know that we're, we're really proud of you. Google Classroom is going to be a new way for us to connect. So a couple of things to know. Number one, I will post assignments for the whole week um, on Monday morning. I'll label them by day. You can work at your own pace, but looking at kind of what I put down for each day will help you stay on track and also not feel too overwhelmed with a lot of work to do in each day. Um, Ms. Sims is also posting assignments for math, so make sure you're checking both of your different class sections. Today, I have three assignments to get you started. Um, the first is just kind of a, a check-in about your peaks and valleys. So those two words relate to mountains. So you have your mountain, the peak is the tip of the mountain, and the valley is that low area in between different mountain peaks. So I want you to think of your peaks as the high times, what's been something great that's been happening for you or something you're feeling good about. Um, and a valley is something that maybe doesn't feel so good. You're feeling a little bit lower. Um, and feel free to share that with me. You can make your peak a class comment, um, and you can send your valley in a private comment to me. So that'll give you a chance to practice commenting both of those different ways. I also have a welcome to Google Classroom Day. There's a couple of surveys for you to fill out. So make sure you try to get those done today. It's just going to give me a little bit more information about your experiences and how often you're able to get online. The third thing I put up is something kind of fun to try. It's a website called Flow Vocabulary um, that combines different like singings, singings, combines different songs, raps, um, with different vocabulary words to use. There's been a few questions that have popped up on Google Classroom so far about coronavirus and kind of what it is and how it's working. Um, and so I put up an article on that for you to read and there's some questions. You can find all of those on the main page when you log into our 602 reading class site. So just feel free um, to get started on that. I can't say enough how much I miss you and starting class and doing our warm up and reading in our circle um, and showing you new independent reading books. It is so sad to be away from you. Um, I know this is what it's best right now so that our, our community and our country can stay safe and healthy, but please know I miss you so much. Email me, call me, I'm happy to connect at any time. Um, so today is day one of Google Classroom and I'll be checking in throughout the week. Hope you're doing well. See ya.